Hey, what's up guys? Lazarus here. Thanks for tuning in. Um, this video is just going to supersede the other two videos that I have for being able to um, stream or record your DAW audio into Streamlabs OBS. And, and this brings me to my next point because I know for a fact that I'm going to earn your subscription with this video. Hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so my prefer my preferred uh, DAW system is Studio One. I loaded everything up just as I normally would. I'm using my interface's ASIO driver. I'm not doing anything special. I'm actually going to show you right now what you need to download to make this happen. So you need to download the Reaper plugins. I'm going to put the link in the bottom so you guys can download this. You click this, download it, install. It installs just like a regular plugin. And we're looking for this one called restream this is going to go at the end of everything that you want to do so your your plugins your mixing uh, your mastering plugins whatever this goes at the end of it all you're gonna click like in this one it's just click and drag you're gonna click send audio you're gonna click on the on the drop down box here and you're gonna hit local broadcast So now we can close that off. Literally, that's all you do with the the on the DAW side. I'm gonna bring in Streamlabs over here. It's gonna get a little bit funky. Alright guys. So this is my session here basically. Let's make it a little bit bigger. If you notice I'm recording into Streamlabs. So you guys can you will see right now once I, I'll pick up my guitar so I, I can do a test here for you guys. I, cl I made a channel called Restream and you make that by clicking this. You're going to click Add uh, Audio Input Capture at Source. I'll just make a new one here. I'll just leave it like that. Pretty generic. Audio Input Capture 1 and literally you're just gonna choose uh, an ASIO driver that you're not using so I have in my in my computer I was using voice meter for a while it's still installed in my computer I'm just gonna choose whatever it doesn't matter because we're gonna you'll see click on this one hit done you're gonna right click go into filters plus button to add it we're going to click on the options button here, go to VSD plugin, hit done. Then you're going to select the plugin of your choice. In this case, we're going to route restream. Here we go. And you hit done. Or I'm sorry, open plugin interface. Brings this in. And this connects your DAW to the uh, OBS system that you're using and then you would just hit done so I've already created a channel for this I'm gonna go ahead and delete it on my end so I'm gonna go ahead and hit remove get it out the way I'm gonna bring in my guitar that's already hooked up and I'm gonna let's pick a let's pick a plugin that we like Let's do Neuro DSP, Nolly, to the guitar track. Let's pick a no, not that one. I don't want. Uh, I like this. One. Just a rhythm tone. All right, guys. So prepare to be amazed.
that's how you do that. It took me months. It took me weeks. Uh, a lot of testing. A lot of uh, different things with plugins. A lot of things, routing things, and like analog. You know, using one of the headphones out, lines out. You know what, guys? It's over and done with. That's not what I'm doing anymore. And you can see here, my voice is coming through the my microphone, the my uh, Bluebird that I have here, to capture my voice. I have it muted so it doesn't come through the speakers or. Um, I just don't want to monitor. It's okay. I know that it's being recorded. And this is going into Streamlabs. Check one, two. There you go. And it says one and two because this is a, a, a eight input uh, interface. And Streamlabs groups them in stereo bundles. So in this instance, one and two is my Bluebird here. And yeah it's yeah and that and it's that simple it's crazy how there's not many videos about this out there so I had to do it a lot of people were commenting you know you know that I helped them out with the previous methods but honestly I think this is the better method so if you want to stream you know you manipulating plugins like you know Ola England does or um, you know, you do a live performance of you playing guitar to to your music or some other music. This is the way to do it. There's little to no latency. I'll show you guys again. I'm using my ASIO, bu ASIO buffer size is at 256. I can go lower uh, uh, if I wanted to, but there is no latency. Little to no latency, I should, I should just say. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button because there's more content like this that's going to help out the community. Thanks again.